the adventures of the Assistant and Wiggles. And we'll stick these two panels together and voila! Assistant, meet Giorgio, my new robotic supercomputer companion. Does this mean I'm out of a job? <laughs> of course not. Giorgio is here to help around the lab whenever you and Wiggles are out on missions. I'm not so sure about this. As far as I'm concerned, there's only one sidekick around these parts, and that's me. Initializing dog treats. However, under these new circumstances, I am willing to compromise with the robot. Giorgio, clean the test tube. Test tube cleaning mode activated. Now things around here will be a little more organized. Mr. Engineer, I have recovered your lost high school yearbook. Giorgio, incinerate. Some skull portraits are better left unseen. Anyway, since Giorgio's cleaning the lab, what say we all go on a picnic? Oh wow, that sounds great. I'm always up for a game of fetch. I'll go pack some sandwiches. <laughs> yes, I'm in. Phase one of my plan is complete. Now on to phase two. I'm gonna steal uh, something. Huh, that'll do. Okay, robot. Now I can use you to intimidate the- Incinerate! You and me are gonna work on our communication skills. This is the place, Giorgio! This is where I shall unleash my revenge! Ask me what happened here. What happened? I'm glad you asked. A week ago, I tried walking into this fine establishment to order some cookie dough. And the owner, Kayla, told me I was too dirty and disgusting to come inside! The sheer nerve! You do smell like trash. That's because I sleep in a dumpster. I won't apologize for who I am! Now, you and I are going to take over Kayla's creamery, candies, and cookies and run the business ourselves! <laughs> Laugh with me. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Kayla! Your restaurant is mine. I don't get paid enough for this. I got it! I got it! Oh. <laughs> got it. Ah, uh, what a lovely day to sit back, relax, and test my new sunscreen. Ooh, my stomach. Austin, what's the matter? Uh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Do you have the bird flu? Uh, no. I just ate some cookies from Kayla's Creamery Candies and Cookies, and now I feel really sick. Oops. Excuse me! Is he okay? Uh, is everyone okay? Something weird's going on, and I bet it has something to do with Kayla's Candies and Cookies. Mr. Engineer, Wiggles and I are going to investigate the candy shop and to see why people are getting sick. Okay, assistant, have fun and be safe. And pick me up some cupcakes, will you? Hmm, everything looks normal. <coughs> Here are your cookies. Enjoy. Hello, can I help you? Hey, doesn't this guy seem awfully familiar? He does look like somebody we've met before, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Welcome to Kayla's Creamery, candies and cookies. Giorgio, what are you doing here? Baking and creating delicious niceties with Mr. Rowdy. Yes, it's true. I stole Giorgio to help me make cookies and candy, but there's nothing you can do about it. I'm doing nothing wrong. I'm a legitimate small business owner. The cookies you are selling are making everyone sick. You'll have to prove that. Can we buy some? Oh, please. Like I would fall for that old trick. Now get out of here. I reserve the right to refuse service. Wiggles, let's go get those cookies from the kid that was in here before us. Hang on. I've almost figured out who that tall guy reminds me of. Oh, boy. I can't wait to try one of these delicious cookies. Wait, wait, those cookies are making everyone in town sick. You guys are weird. Thanks for the cookies, bye. There's the problem. What? These cookies are loaded with bacteria. Rowdy must not be washing his hands. Why does that matter? Bacteria from the trash can make people sick. That's why we wash our hands. Oh, I always thought it was supposed to make the food taste better. All this bacteria must come from Rowdy. He's always dirty and digging through trash. Someone needs to teach that guy to wash up. 
All right, Rowdy, give it up. We've got proof that your cookies are making the whole town sick. It's because you're baking them without washing your hands. Like that matters, I'm making more money than Kayla ever did. Hey, where is Kayla? Uh, uh, she's, uh, busy. And, uh, Gior Giorgio, get them! <gasps> what do we do? I didn't come prepared to fight a robot. Maybe there's something in my backpack that we can use. All I have is this frisbee. Wait, that's it. We're gonna play a game of frisbee? I don't know how that'll help, but I support this decision. No, Giorgio's programmed to be a cleaning robot. So? So watch this. Must clean gumballs. What? No! Giorgio, focus on the girl and the dog. Now, Wiggles, let's go get rowdy. <laughs> Good luck catching me behind my door of cookie dough. Oh, hi, Kayla. Forgot I put you in here. A cookie dough door? What is the practical application of this? It's too sticky and gooey to get through. I guess we'll have to eat our way through. We can't do that, Wiggles. We'll get set. Remember, the only way to get rid of bacteria in cookie dough is to bake it. That's it. What's it? Giorgio. How may I serve you? Incinerate. Incinerating. Whoa! Did you just make that cookie dough door into a giant cookie? Yep. Now it's time to dig in. No! How did you manage to get in? Wiggles, you untie Kayla. I'll handle Rowdy. And just how do you plan on doing... No! Oh, my beautiful God! Now that's one clean raccoon. You haven't heard the last of... Now we just need to brush him. No! Keep your brushes away from me! Thank you so much for freeing me and stopping Rowdy. Oh, you're welcome, Kayla. Is there anything I can do to thank you? How about I pick you guys some cupcakes? Uh, I could always go for some cupcakes. You know, Giorgio may actually be a big help to me in my shop. No one seems to bake cookies faster than him. Do you think it would be okay if I hired him full time? Only if you can promise me a box of cream cheese cucumber cupcakes every day. Ugh, cream cheese cucumber? Well, we're actually out of that flavor, but hopefully these will suffice. Hey, uh, can we do more jobs that pay us in cupcakes? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Hey, everybody, today we learned about Rowdy Raccoon and how I used a microscope to look, look at the back bacteria. That's right, Assistant. Now, we're going to learn about microscopes today, and we're going to look at some cool things under it, like some money, a bug, a quarter, and what's this? Slime! That's wow. right. All that's under a microscope, and you at home are going to get to see it. But first, Assistant, tell us about what a microscope actually is. What? This is not a microscope. This is a magnifying glass. And when you put two magnifying glasses together, it makes a microscope. That's right, Assistant. You have to have them the actual right length apart, right? Right. And then one magnifies the image from the other one, causing it to be a microscope. Okay, Assistant, so now we're going to show you some images underneath a microscope, okay? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, Assistant, what do you see under the microscope? A cricket. That's right, it's a cricket. People at home, do you see the cricket right there? Now, we found that cricket was laying around our, our warehouse. Now, we can change how we focus, right? Right. And look, do you see the little hairs on the back of the cricket's leg? Yeah, those are cool. Those are pretty cool. Right, now let's change the magnification. So we're going to zoom in on our cricket. Whoa, Whoa look at how he's getting... close. Look at how big he is. Look at that cricket. Look how, it looks like a leg broke off, maybe. And now we're going to move it over a little bit. Oh, I moved it the wrong way. So this is our cricket. We're going to see his hairy legs. Right. Oh, that's a little. Well, people at home, do you see the cricket's legs right there? Pretty neat. And we can even magnify it even more. So again, scientists use microscopes to think things that are really small. Like this cricket. And the assistant in the episode, she used it to find bacteria. Now this microscope won't find bacteria, right assistant? Right. This is what's called a stereo microscope. But if you had a more powerful one, it could. All right, now this right here is going to be, what's that assistant? A quarter. Okay, so the assistant is looking at the quarter. All right assistant, you want to move it around a little bit and we can look around the corner. Oh look, I see a little bit of corrosion on it right there. And hold it still assistant. Let's leave it right there on George Washington. We're going to zoom in. So she's going to stop moving it now. And we're going to zoom in on his hair. And then I'm going to move it right back here. 
and you can see all the cool things. Look, right there's the edge of a quarter. <laughs> Pretty neat. Now let's look at this money, which is right here. And now we're looking at money. Do you see that? So we can move it around. You can see all the cool things. And if you look, you can even see little hairs and everything else that's in the money. Okay, so, so what do you have now? Slime. So you've got some slime. Can you show us? So you have a test tube full of slime, right? Okay, let's put that under the microscope so the people at home can see it. So we're going to put it right there. Maybe drop our magnification because it's always easier to focus at a lower magnification than at a higher magnification. Right. We'll talk about that later. So there's the slime right there. Do you see it? Yeah, All the gooey looking stuff. It All right. looks like um, candy, but it has like blue in the middle. Now let's zoom in. And as we zoom, we're going to even change our magnification a little bit. And let's see if we can see the glitter inside of the... There's a glitter in there? Yeah. All right, so we're out of focus. Now let's go back in focus. Whoa, look at that slime, everybody. So, Sissa, what do you see under that microscope? I see, I see all the glitter. It kind of looks like the candy, like what they use to make candy canes. It does. So, okay. So, everybody, that's a microscope, and that's how we're able to use it. And the assistant, why don't, you want to focus back on that cricket? Yeah. Or do you just want to play with the slime? I want to play with the slime. Okay. So, that's how the assistant was able to use the microscope to figure out the bacteria that may infected all those cookies. All right, everyone, we really hope that you enjoyed the science experiment. Bye. Bye, everyone. Hey there, everyone. Thanks for watching our video. Now make sure that you subscribe to the engineering family so you can see lots of cool videos. In fact, there's another cool video right there. You can select and watch it. I think you're really gonna like it. Is it Team Umazumi, Paw Patrol, Surprise Eggs, Frozen, Blade, Masha, there are so many videos to watch. Bye.